Now it's been obvious for years that red light therapy devices have been designed for marketing and not necessarily for effectiveness. And one of the glaring examples is this. Friend Matt took a candid photo in front of a Juvelite system and I did this little drawing to break it down. Now, of course, you'll have to pardon my Photoshop skills. Obviously, the most trustworthy people are the ones with good Photoshop skills. Now, I drew this little silhouette around his body, and I found only 37% of his body is blocking these lights. And that leaves 63% of the area is completely, you know, missing the target. Then we add in that we know about 60% of light reflects from the user skins, including red and near infrared. And so what did I do? Like 60% times 37%, that brings you down to 22% of the light is actually being absorbed by the user in this scenario. And of course, I mockingly say that means 78% of the light is treating the walls and the ceiling and the floor and, you know, inevitably that's where it's all getting absorbed. Now, one way to cope is that I could be misleading that we could say, okay, some of the beams are coming from over here from outside this area and is being absorbed by the user. That could be a fair understanding. But again, that's very biased. You know, a lot of influencers are training their audiences to be very biased and only see things one way. So let's look at the opposite way. So that means that there's also light beams that are coming from, you know, where the silhouette was being blocked and was going out this way and missing the user. So it kind of cancels out. Now, the other way to think of it is maybe you have a highly reflective room. Maybe all your walls and ceilings and floors are some sort of highly reflective materials, even like a white material with kind of a glossy coat that could help reflect a lot of light. Or you could line your walls with mylar or foil or something crazy. And so, yeah, if you have a highly reflective room, then all the light's going to bounce off the walls and eventually come back to you. And maybe, you know, and then 60% of that gets reflected, but eventually it keeps bouncing around, keeps bouncing around. And if you're the only absorber in the room, then yes, eventually you'll absorb 100% of the light. Or what I would propose is to either redesign the stands or the, the panels themselves and have these outer rows of lights angled more inward so you're getting at least more direct treatment from all your panels. And so that's it. You know, engineers like me can be very annoying because a lot of people think that engineers uh, are around to solve technical problems, and that's true, but we're also good at identifying problems. So I'm always looking for ways to perfect. It may be small, it may be big, it may be boring, but this is the kind of stuff I look into.